So I got a fun one today. I got three books back from CGC. Now, according to CGC, these aren't technically comic books. These are magazines. And all it is is they're comic books, but they're a little bit larger sized. They're from the early 90s, I believe. And these are the last books I'm doing for the same friend that I had pressed some books for. I think I'd done the Green Lantern 87 and a couple other books for him as well. You probably, some of you have probably seen that video in the past. So yeah. We've been waiting on these a while. Apparently magazines are a little bit slower on the turnaround time. It's been six weeks or more. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have the exact dates in front of me, but it took quite a while for these books to come back. So I'm going to go ahead and get them unboxed here. Let's take a look and see what grades we got. All right, so we've got three issues. We got Brother Man number five, number three, and number one. I'm going to start with number five and we'll go backwards. Now, if you want to know more about the history, of Big City Comics who created these books. The artwork, by the way, is just absolutely tremendous in these books. I, it was an absolute joy to work on these books because I just love this larger-than-life art that these books... I mean, you'll have to see it for yourself. There's some pictures online. I'll put a link in the description and you can take a look at yourself and read about the history and all that stuff as well. Now, all three of these books were extremely high grade. At least 9.6 after I was done. My grading tool, not knowing anything about these books, thinks they're 9.6, 9.8s. Borderline, two of them I think are slam dunk 9.8s, and I think that's number three and number one. I'm really nervous on these because I want these grades to be the 9.6, 9.8. I, I don't want anything lower than that because I know they should not be lower than that. With that being said, let's go ahead and look at the first grade. Yes! Now we got the 9.8. Um, that was the one I thought we might get lower than 9.8. Maybe even I thought there was a chance of 9.4 on that one. So yeah, we got the 9.8. Now this one looks better. It's sitting in that holder pretty well. There is a couple scuffs on this case right here. There's one here and one here. That's kind of... I didn't really see that on the other one. Yeah. I probably can clean that up with the poly watch. I did a video on that as well. Um, how you can use poly watch to get scuffs off, but that's annoying. I always hate it when I see that, especially when it's not my books. I don't feel it. So, well, I can feel it. Yeah, that's frustrating. Oh, well, um, let's see what the grade is. Now, this one was the nicest copy, I believe, of all three books. So I'm expecting, unless, like I said, that indentation or whatever could be on this one could hold us back. But let's just see. Okay, two of three. <laughs> we got the 9.8s. Now the last one. Now this one is tough. And the reason I say that is look at the dark colors on this book. And you wouldn't believe how nice there's more scuffs right here. Ugh. I'm going to have to check also for any kind of cracks or anything. But that's frustrating. I hate seeing that. Where's their quality control at? I mean, I've been seeing this a lot. I think half the slabs on my last submission had that kind of damage on it. It's just, how is this happening? I mean... It's your business to make these slabs, CGC. I mean, you can't protect them in some way and, and not be clumsy. I don't know what's causing that. Why are we getting these big, giant scuffs? I, how many people are sending slabs back to you right now? Don't you, aren't you tired of that? Can't you solve this problem? Because this is an ongoing thing for two years. Occasionally, normally, but sometimes it's rampant and within an entire... I mean, let me show you this. I don't want to get off on a rant here, but I don't know if you can see it. But you see all those little spots? It came this way from CGC. I don't know what that is. It looks like a thousand fingerprints. I don't know if that's what it is, but the slab has a weird haziness all over the top. I did not try to poly watch it yet. I may have to send that one back for reholding. I hate sending books back because I don't like people's hands on these books more than they need to be. So yeah, the big one. Now this one looks pretty good. I can definitely see where it's sitting a little bit weird in this holder though. It's like it almost doesn't fit inside the inner well. It's like there's no hardly any, there, if any, room on the edges here. It's like that thing's really jammed down in there. I, I just don't like that. I don't like these rough handling of books at all. And It looks like, how would they even get that in there? Yeah, that, that bothers me, sorry. <laughs> so can we do it on the last one? This is the middle graded book. This one, I have it as a solid 9.8, but it's more 
I could see it getting a 9.6 it's possible I mean to get a 9.8 when you've got this kind of dark colors I mean it's the back too is completely black but if I remember correctly there was one tiny little color break on the spine so yeah let's go ahead and see what does the grader think of this one 9.8 <laughs> three of three man <laughs> whoo I love that I don't like the potential rough handling, the way these books are sitting inside this slab, and I don't like the scuffs. I don't like the quality control part aspect of it, but I do love the grades. I can't lie. Um, so I'm really, really thrilled for the owner of these books. He's going to probably faint, because I don't think he was expecting 9.8 on all three. I, I told him I was hoping for 9.6 on all three. I was trying not to get his hopes up. But I kind of had a feeling at least two of them would be a 9.8, based on what I was looking at. But he's going to be a proud owner of three 9.8s on these. And I'm going to go ahead and ship this off to him. I don't know whether I'm going to reveal the grades before. I think I might just let him unbox them. I might tell him the day, they're, the day before they're coming that your books are going to arrive tomorrow. So thanks for watching, everybody. Stay nerdy, and I will see you in the next video.